This is part two of the compressor replacement and oil balancing of this GM Chevy truck. Uh, I forgot the year make model. It is a, um, where are the stickers at? Stickers are missing. It was in a collision before. Oh, all the stickers are missing up here. The emission stickers, everything. And uh, well, that explains why it had contaminated gas in it. It was at a body shop. Um, and it was 100 grams low. And then in video number one, I removed the oil out of the new compressor to prove that it said what it had in it, what it said, and it did. They actually told the truth. They don't always tell the truth. Sometimes they can have the full whole system capacity and sometimes they could be empty and they tell you something else on the piece of paper. Uh, that's why it's up to you as a technician. You are responsible for checking every one. And the oil does not come on this compressor. No oil comes out of the suction or low side hole, even on this old one. When I go to pour out of the suction or the discharge line, no oil comes out. It all came out of, oh, I'm, I'm dribbling it out right now. It all came out of the oil drain hole that's to the center, right there. Oh, one-handed, I'm getting old, shit. This little tiny compressor feels heavy to me. At one time, I used to be able to do this with an A6 with one hand, not no more. But we got a little over two ounces coming out of there. So it tells you these instructions, and I told you to read this on the other one yourself. I'm not going to read them to you, and I'm not going to explain it because I've made this video many times about oil balancing. But uh, hopefully you can make heads or tails of this. So you see that down there? The new compressor had 1.4. I poured some of it out because I kind of knew what was going to go on. And I discovered that this was by a contaminated refrigerant, was worked on by a hack shop and I was right. It went to a body shop. They put dye in it, uh, but they put a lot of oil in the system too. When I recovered the refrigerant, it was 100 grams low and it still had much more oil in the system than it should have. So it was over oiled and um, it has a large capacity of oil in it. You know, those guys who seal think, oh, well, uh, more oil is better, so I'll just put more in there. And I can imagine how much more is in the system. Um, okay, that's it about it. We're, we're getting the new compressor on. He almost has it in, and I'm about to turn on the vacuum. Mm, it's a Chevy, so I, I wonder if it leaked out from the time it was charged. I don't have an old invoice to get a time to figure out how much time has went by since they charged this to figure out how many grams per year or month that the system went down from this when this was last worked on. All right, I'll see you guys later.